Today we're looking at one of the United Kingdom's more obscure 422 steam locomotives, in stark contrast to machines like the Great Northern Stirling Single or Caledonian Railway No. 123. Instead of those two, this mini-documentary is about the Great Eastern Railway P43 class, recorded entirely in Train Simulator. This was a little-known and numerically small class of 422 tender engines, of which only 10 examples were built at Stratford Works in 1898. Although credited to James Holden, the design was largely the responsibility of his apprentice, Frederick Russell. While this was relatively late in the single-driver era, the recent advent of steam-powered sanding gear gave the Great Eastern the idea to try building more singles but the P-43 was the last single driver design on the GER. They looked unlike any of the GER's previous 422s, and to me, they looked like a more refined version of the earlier 245 class, while simultaneously resembling William Dean's 3031 class from the Great Western Railway. The P-43s even had a similar copper-capped chimney, while the cab sides looked a bit unusual as they were made with two separate pieces bolted together. At 7 feet, or 2.134 metres diameter, their driving wheels weren't as large as previous single driver designs, but the overall locomotive was larger than most previous GER express engines. For comparison, GNR No. 1 has driving wheels of 8 feet 1 inch diameter. One of the most striking features of the design was its tender, which had an unusual rounded shape with an inset fuel space. The P-43s started out as oil burners, a somewhat uncommon practice at the time, with an oil capacity of 3,250 litres and a water capacity of 12,700 litres. These locomotives were intended for fast passenger services, and would often run from London Liverpool Street out to Norwich, Cromer and Sheringham. As one might expect from such an obscure class, pictures of the real things are very rare. Starting in 1900, when they were only two years old, the P-43s began to get outclassed by the larger S-46 and D-56 or Claude Hamilton 440s. Then, in 1901, the P-43s were taken off Norwich services and converted to coal firing before getting transferred to the Great Northern and Great Eastern joint line. This route ran from Doncaster to Huntingdon via Lincoln, Sleaford and March, so it was essentially an alternative to the East Coast main line. In 1902, P-43 class number 12 was experimentally fitted with a superheater and extended smoke box, the only member of her class to receive this modification. Due to their low power and inability to handle increasingly heavy passenger trains, 
the P-43 class was very short-lived. They certainly didn't last long enough to be inherited by the London and Northeastern Railway. Numbers 14 and 18 were the first to be withdrawn, going in 1907. Three years later, 12 and 13 were the last P-43s in service, but these two were finally withdrawn in 1910, and none of these locomotives survived into preservation. Honestly, I'm not surprised that this class went extinct, given their small numerical size and early withdrawal before the preservation movement really got going. Despite the obscurity of the P-43 class, and their short service life of only 13 years, Caledonia Works still brought her to Train Simulator in August 2021. The pack only costs £13, while the CW stuff normally costs between £15 and £20. This pack only includes one livery, GER Ultramarine, but you still get multiple variants, both coal and oil fired, as well as number 12 in her superheated condition with the extended smoke box. I don't know if there are any Great Eastern Era routes available, so instead, I use the P-43 on heritage lines like the North Norfolk Railway. In a way, it makes sense to run the P-43 out of Sheringham again, only not back towards Cromer and Norwich. That's now the territory of Greater Anglia and their Class 755 electrodiesels. For reference, the larger Great Eastern coaches that you've seen throughout the video were made by Matrix trains. While this Wisbeach and Upwell stock is included with the Y6 tram engine. The Great Eastern roster and train simulator doesn't just comprise the P43 class. Caledonia Works also made the T26 class 240, L77 class 062 tank, and S69 class 460, later reclassified as E4, N7, and B12-1 respectively under the LNER. Meanwhile, 4th Games also made the G15 or Y6 class 040 tram engine, which was the subject of a previous mini documentary. While Digital Traction made the famous C-53 or J-70 class 060 tram engine, and the Rustic Engineman made the Y-14 or J-15 class 060. At present, the only GER locomotives I've got in my TS collection are the P-43, L-77, G-15 and C-53 classes. And on the subject of the Great Eastern, I wouldn't mind seeing the unusual A55 class o 10 brought to TS at some point. And I think that's all I've got to say about the Great Eastern Railway P43 class, along with the special mention of her fellow Easterners. I hope you've enjoyed learning about this obscure locomotive design, and feel free to check out some of my previous mini-documentaries. Past subjects include, but are not limited to, the Alco Century 855, General Electric BQ23-7, British Rail Class 487, and Morrison Nudson TE70-4S. I'll leave a link to the Caledonia Works website in the description, 
so that you can try out the P43 class for yourself, as well as the myriad of other little-known steam locomotives brought to Train Simulator by Chris Wilson and his team.